hello guys good morning welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i bring you a lovely and nice delicacy recipe which is called croquettes so first of all i want to thank my viewers my twin subscribers and for those of you that share my link i say big thank you so today as i said i'm going to teach you guys the way i prepare my croquettes so i'm using tuna fish you can use korean fish you can use chicken you can use uh, spinach you can use ham or or eggs so there are many ways to prepare croquettes so but today i'm teaching you guys the way i prepare my croquettes with tuna fish so let me introduce you my my ingredients so here we have our onions slice and here i have my black pepper my flour salt nutmeg tuna fish butter and uh meat so let's go guys so guys i have my my stove my fire so here i have my satin i'm going to put one spoon of butter to my frying pan So I'm use, I'm going to use this butter to fry my my onions. So now I'm going to pour. I'm going to turn in my onions inside. So I'm going to fry until it gives me a golden color. So guys, you can see it now. I see the golden color. So after getting this color, you have to pour your tuna fish inside. You add your nutmeg, your salt, and your black pepper. You have to turn for five minutes. So don't worry, guys. I will list the ingredients half day when i'm done so don't worry about that so you have to turn like this for five minutes so meanwhile i have to you have to hold my on my stove just to warm the meat you have to warm it so you just watch guys it has to be done five minutes so for this recipe you need uh, your dipstick and a spatula that is what you need for this recipe don't forget you are making i'm teaching i'm showing you guys i make my croquettes so guys you can see how it is after five minutes so the next step is we are going to add our flour little by little so don't stop moving you have to keep on moving. Don't stop moving. So these are after uh, putting our flour. These are the food. Be. So now, gradually, gradually, you have to add your meat. Gradually, gradually, not all at once. So you move. So guys, I'm going to add my last mink. So this is how your croquette would be. So this is the shape. And then my last mink. So I'm going to turn. I'm going to stay now. So don't stop moving. Just continue moving. But first, I'm going to add a spoon of maggi. Guys, in case if you come if you come across a thing like this. You see, it's 
it's like it's gone to the deep stick but no but don't matter either you do it like this to remove it or with your knife you just remove it okay so don't bother don't bother about this it's normal the normal thing so now i have to change my deep stick to my spatula because you have done this job so now with the help of my spatula so i will be turning you can see so i will be turning like 10 minutes so guys i'm done with my croquette so on the clean surface i'm going to put a little bit of of oil i spread i will spread it so i'm going to put my croquettes on top why am i doing this is because of my croquette not to get gummed so yeah. i will put it inside and leave it to cool for some minutes So this is how it will be. Just spread it to cook for a few minutes. So later we fold to our chip. So guys, we have come to the final step. So I'm going to pass my my croquette through the egg beat, egg beating, and the and my breadcrumbs. This bread this breadcrumbs is mixed with uh, the um, spicy leaves um garlic so now i'm going to fold so guys now i'm going to give him the shape with my hands i'm giving it, i'm giving it the shape i want as you can see if i want small shape or round shape i can do it like this okay with my hand i give him the shape i want big small medium that depends on you so now i'm going to pass through the egg and through the breadcrumbs so with my hand while passing it through the breadcrumbs i give it a shape again so you see so the shape depends on me on the, depends on the way I want it. So this is how we do it. So now I'm going to fry because you can see I have my uh, granola toy eating now on the fire. So I'm going to fry now. So guys, you can see our breadcrumbs is frying very very well. So don't forget the step you have to take first. You have to pass it through the egg the egg beat later through the breadcrumbs giving me the giving it the shape you want it to be so then you fry to the color you want mm, you you can fry like five to eight minutes hi guys we have come to the end of today's recipe so this is how my croquet came out um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to press the notification bell don't forget to send my my link so in case you want to know how i missed how i got this color so i just missed my mayonnaise and my ketchup in case you want to do the same at home so the remaining um croquettes that came that came out i'm going to keep it in the freezer in case of next time when i'm tasting of my croquettes so guys see you next time bye stay tuned